안녕하세요 채널 IT All right, Martin, before the interview, please introduce yourself to our viewers. So I'm uh, Martin Casado. I'm the CTO and co-founder of, of Nasira. Okay, so as the CTO at the Nasira company, which work with industry leaders such as eBay, AT&T, NTT, Dreamhost, and Rexspace, and your job is to transfer their business through Nasira, right? So what exactly does Nasira do? So, so the best way to think about it is this. Um, many companies are moving towards the cloud, which mm -hmm. means they want to build large data centers right. that run applications mm -hmm. very efficiently um, and very dynamically. Mm -hmm. And so the most difficult aspect of doing this has been the network. The network mm -hmm. is slow. It normally requires True. a lot of people to and use. It's expensive too. And it's extremely expensive. Right. So what Nasira does is we move a lot of the functionality in the network mm -hmm. into software mm -hmm. so that it's much quicker, Mm -hmm. um, more flexible, um, and you can use much, much cheaper networking cheaper. hardware as, uh, as a result. Right. Wow. Um, for servers, um, it used to be that servers would have an operating system that runs on top of the hardware. Mm -hmm. And then companies like VMware came and technologies like Zen and KVM came and it moved, it decoupled the operating system from the hardware. Mm -hmm. And that allows the operating system to be managed very flexibly. So um, it can be programmed and it can be moved around and it can be brought up and down. Mm -hmm. So that's a core technology for the cloud, uh -huh. for servers. Mm -hmm. So that's a server hypervisor. So Nasira does the same thing, and network virtualization is the same thing for the network. Mm -hmm. So it decouples the view of the network from the network mm -hmm. itself. And this allows you to control it programmatically, mm -hmm. to create new networks um, uh, dynamically, to move them around. Mm -hmm. And so uh, I think a great example is, um, say for example, you had an application in one data center. So you're running a game, say. So there's a game in a data center, and it uses many computers to run the game. Mm -hmm. And say um, that data center had to be renovated, so they had to turn everything off. Uh -huh. Network virtualization would allow you to take that game and move it to a wow. different data center uh -huh. without disrupting the communication, wow. so people can continue to play the game. Okay. So the, the right way to think about it is decoupling, mm -hmm. decoupling the network from the actual location mm -hmm. and the actual mm -hmm. hardware. OK, and what kind of what advantage does natural virtualization have? A good example is like one of our customers, um, in order to deploy new applications, it used to take them a long time. And the reason it took a long time is because that the request would have to go to the networking guys, and then the networking guys would have to configure the network, which is right. a manual error prone process. Mm -hmm. So it took them between, Forever. yeah, mm -hmm. seven days actually. That was, that was the, the, the normal time it takes mm -hmm. seven days. With Nasira, because everything is in software and it's automated, mm -hmm. it would take 30 seconds, right? Mm -hmm. So this is a, a massive reduction in time it took to deploy a new application, right? Okay, and also Nasira has recently put a focus on open source, right? Why is it something to do with the profit? So uh, open source is a great way to get uh, mm -hmm. software deployed. And in the cloud, if you look at a large data center, mm -hmm. a lot of the software already is open source. Mm -hmm. For example, Linux mm -hmm. uh, and OpenStack. And so we're very committed to making sure that open source and open source software mm -hmm. um, is, is very good and as competitive as, as other software. Mm -hmm. So this is something that we use to deploy and make people comfortable with the work that we do. Mm -hmm. Also, I have heard that Nasira plans to launch in Korea in near future. So why has Nasira decided to launch in Korea? Yeah, yeah. so I, I actually think that the IT in Korea is some of the best in the world. I find Korea to be very, very advanced when it comes to building out clouds and data centers. Mm -hmm. And so we think that now it's ready. It's a good opportunity for us to, to, to sell. Uh -huh. And is there anything else you'd like to say to our viewers? So I would like to thank uh, Channel IT for allowing me to come and, and do this interview and talk. And uh, I really appreciate the opportunity to come to Korea. I'm looking forward to coming back. Sang Bang Song Smart Show Forever. Yeah.